Hello, this is John from Fusion 3D Models. I'm going to show a little bit about casting directly from a 3D mold. These molds are produced using Z-Core process. They're very resistant to temperature. Um, you can cast upwards of 500 degrees, and I know I've read about where you can cast aluminum in them as well. Um, I prefer to use lower melting point materials just because I'm not using anything that's going to require anything more uh, higher than that, such as aluminum, things like that. These are uh, low melting point materials. Anyway, um, all I've done to prepare is these are the, the molds. They're two, two parts. They have basically just the two halves of the parting line at a convenient location. I designed these around a, uh, in SolidWorks using a basic subtraction method and then identified the parting, the best parting lines to work. Um, and then this one is basically a post. These have not been, uh, these ones, their flashing has not been removed. And here's the, the tr these are basically small wind turbines for a small model. Anyway, uh, without further ado, all I've done is taken the material in here and heated it up to about 325 degrees. It takes only about three minutes in this ladle. Uh, prepped the molds just by spraying a small amount of um, cooking spray in them, believe it or not. Works rather well. Just fill each mold. It's hard to get the smallest amount because they the, uh, the volume is so so minuscule in these, especially these blades. As you can see, these blades are really small. We've assembled several of these where we've drilled the hole here, used brass, drilled the hole through the other piece here, again with a slightly sm larger size brass, and they spin rather nicely, and then they just go in like so. So we let these sit for just a, a small amount of time. It doesn't take too long. Remove the half, as you can see. It looks like it filled rather nicely. There's no no in, no air entrapment. Pull it off like so, and then all we have to do is come in and either with a knife, there's probably better tools than this, but you can come in and shave off the shave off or prob grinding with a Dremel tool actually works much better. Uh, shave off the flashing from from the outside of the part. Much of the flashing will just break right off, and then just cut this off. Make, making sure that you leave enough material so that you can get the length of this the same as so the, the three blades so that it's balanced properly. And then just remove the rest of the molds. Typically the way I do it is I will do one mold at a time. Um, I'll do two molds and then I'll remove one, pour it, prepare it, pour it, remove the other one and then I can just go back and forth and you can produce a lot of metal parts very quickly this way and very cost effectively because the 3D print molds, a mold like this may only be $20, $30 range, something like that. It's sold by the cubic inch, so the more, the larger the, mo the, the mold, the more cubic inches involved, uh, the more cost. But on the larger ones, we can actually go in and cut areas away to reduce the amount of material. So to be able to produce a part like that for such a small cost is pretty impressive because, as, as most people realize, producing metal parts can be very expensive. And there's the post. And all we have to do here is cut the sprue off there. And then you end up with a part just like this one. Thanks, have a great day.